Share my screen with you all. And we're going to look at a topic. I've, I've covered this um, before uh, a couple of times, but I know from the way people bid and play certain hands that they're not quite getting all the aspects of this. So I thought I'll go over it again. I will also look at some uh, hands, um, uh, one especially that was recently played. Um, so we're going to talk about the opening bid of two clubs. And if you play standard ACOL or standard American, um, two clubs is reserved as the strongest opening bid, showing either 23 or more points in your hand or slightly fewer points where you want to be in game, where you have game in your own hand. Um, so, for example, here are some examples of hands where you would open two clubs. Here's a balanced hand with 24 points. You'd open this one two clubs. Here's an unbalanced hand with 23 points. And again, I would open this one two clubs. Or even if I was slightly weaker, if I had this hand, even though this hand is only 18 points, this is a hand where I want to be in game, either in four hearts or four spades, depending where my partner has the better fit, presumably. So even though this is not quite 23 points, I can pretty much see that I've got game in my own right. Um, in fact, the other way of assessing your hand uh, when it's distributional and you expect you will, will be able to find a fit in one of your suits is if you look at the losers you have, potential losers, I'm probably going to just lose a spade, a heart and a diamond, even if my partner has virtually nothing for me. So. I would open this one two clubs as well. In fact, even without the queen of diamonds, um, if I was only 16 points, I would probably still open two clubs here. Although the two club bids should be reserved for a strong hand. Uh, and most experts recommend that it should be something like uh, 16 points in terms of high cards. There are also special rules if you're playing an EBU event, but if you stick to it being at least 16 points in high club, you should be OK. But all those hands I would open two clubs on. Um, and how do you respond to two clubs? Well, the most common system I've, I'm going to cover is that you start off with a negative bid any time you have fewer than eight points. So with zero to seven points, you respond two diamonds. But if you have seven points consisting of an ace and a king, then it's normal to treat that as a make a positive bid, which is something other than two diamonds. And if you do have eight points, you either respond to no trump to show that, or you bid your own good suit. And that would be, of course, two hearts, two spades, or three clubs, or three diamonds. That would be a natural bid. Obviously, you don't bid in the minors that often, um, but you don't necessarily want to play in a minor unless you're go, really going to, go to go for a slam. Um, but in, in in any case, it should show your own good five card suit at least. You don't, shouldn't- Tony, yeah. Tony, could I ask a question? Yeah. When you say positive with an ace and a king, do you mean specifically an ace and a king or, or seven points or two queens and a jack or something like that? Yeah, no, uh, definitely not. Um, queen. So if if you have seven points and you've got ex you've got one eight and that's consistent of one ace and one king, don't have to be in the same suit. Then most um, experts would recommend you upgrade that hand and make a positive reply. The reason is that aces and kings are very useful when it comes to looking for slams, whereas queens and jacks are not necessarily um, that useful. So upgrade uh, seven points, but only if it consists of an ace and a king, not if it consists of, um, you know, an ace, a queen and a jack, for example. Anyway, so um, the important thing to remember is if you then, after you've opened two clubs, if you bid um, a suit, that should be promising a five card suit at least. Um, and similarly to what I was just being asked about, if you have say eight or nine points but you have no aces and no kings just queens and jacks then it's normal to downgrade the hand and, and make a negative reply if you don't have any aces 
or any kings, even if you have a say eight or nine points. Okay, so let's look at some hands where you would respond to your partners to clubs. Here you've only got one point, and it's tempting you want to bid your spades, but you really shouldn't. You really should just bid two diamonds here. Start off with a negative bid. Um, or if you make a positive bid, your partner will think you've got at least eight points. Um, here's a hand where you have nine points and you don't have your own long suit, so you can make the positive reply of two no trump. Um, or if you have your own good five card suit at least, then you can bid two hearts here. You've got nine points and a, a good five card suit with at least um, you know, two of the top honours in there. That would be a hand that's suitable for a uh, two heart response. Um, let's have a look at a few, few bidding sequences and let's see how the bidding should go on these. Here, West has got a balanced hand with 23 points. So they start by bidding two clubs. East makes the normal expected response of two diamonds. And now West can show a balanced hand that was too strong to open two no trump by rebidding two no trump. So if you open two clubs and then rebid two no trump, you are showing a hand that was too strong to open two no trump. And in fact, the point ranges are shown in the bottom left hand corner there. Two clubs, two diamonds, two no trump shows a balanced hand with 23 or 24 points, just too strong to open two no trump. And if you're lucky enough to have an even stronger hand, say 25 to 27 points, then you would uh, jump to three no trump. Obviously that doesn't occur very often. Uh, and there are responses even beyond that, but the, the one you'll come, most likely come across is the 23 to 24 points with a balanced hand. And remember, you, you shouldn't really be bidding spades after, after two clubs, two diamonds. You shouldn't really, really be bidding a four card major. A suit you bid there should be a five card suit. And if you don't have one, then bid, rebid two no trump. Um, Let's have a look at this one. It's the same West hand here. You open two clubs, your partner makes a two diamond bid and you bid two no trump. So now your partner knows you've got a balanced hand with 23 or 24 points. And this hand, this East hand is a one time you can pass before you've reached game. And apart from this exact bidding sequence, two clubs, two diamonds, two no trump, an opening two clubs is game forcing. And by game forcing, what we mean is it's game forcing on both players. Both East and West must keep bidding, except in this exact bidding sequence. So once two clubs has been opened, um, then unless the bidding goes like this, both players must keep bidding until they've reached game. That's what it means for it to be game forcing. And we'll see, uh, I think a lot of people uh, forget that or, or get frightened about it. Um, and and don't keep bidding when when they're in a game forcing auction. Let's have a look at this one here. Here your partner's opened two clubs. You bid two diamonds, and your partner bid two no trump. So they've got a balanced hand with twenty three or twenty four points. I've got the first poll of the evening here. We said, what do you think E should bid with this hand here? So have a little think about it, and in a moment I'm going to launch a poll. What should East respond here? And uh, most of you here have gone for three no Trump uh, with 39% going for three clubs and two people said pass. So let's switch back to the show. Well, you have three points, but your partner has at least 23. So you have 26 or 27 points between you. So you should be in game. And you might think of just bidding three no trump, which is what most of you did. But a better bid here is to bid stamen. So stamen should be used uh, to find out if your partner has a four card major for you. And here, your partner, if they happen to show three hearts, which shows a four card heart suit, then you'll go to four hearts rather than three no trump. Three no trump might make here, but four hearts, generally speaking, will do better if you have an eight card 
fit. You can see you might be a little bit vulnerable here in diamonds if the opponents lead that suit. So remember that's the use of stamen after your partner has opened two clubs and rebid two, no trump. Three clubs here is not natural, it's uh, another use of stamen. Do interrupt me if you have any comments on that. How about this one? Here it's gone uh, again, the same hand, two clubs, two diamonds, two no trump. Again, you want to be in game. And this time you have a five card heart suit. So if you were not playing transfers, you would just bid three hearts. That's your promise, a five card um, suit. And your partner will either go back to three no trump or if they have, as is the case here, three or more hearts, they should support you and you will play this one in four hearts. Now, if you are playing transfers, I recommend that you also play transfers in this situation and that you use yeah. a bit of three diamonds here as a transfer to heart. So three diamonds, just as it would be over an opening two, no Trump is a transfer to hearts. Your partner bids three hearts. And I've got the second poll of the evening for you which is what do you think E should bid? So if you're playing transfers and you bid three diamonds, which your partner uh, competed the transfer to hearts with, what do you now rebid with the East hand? I'm going to launch that poll. Let me uh, share the results with you. And it's very even response with a slight majority going for three no trump and 46% going for four hearts. And the majority who went for three no trump are correct. Um, the way you show a five card suit playing transfers is you transfer to the um, major suit here, three hearts, and then you should bid three no trump. And that says to your partner, I started off with five cards in that suit and you can make the final decision. If you have only two hearts, you should probably pass. And we'll play it in three, no trump. But if you have three or more, as is the case here, you should go back to hearts. And you would end up in four hearts here. But it is a mistake to bid four hearts in response to three hearts. You'd only do that if you had a six card suit. And I hope you can see that playing transfers, as is the case here, West gets to be declarer rather than East. And West might well gain, um, you know, if the opponents lead something like a minor suit, that may help uh, help your side uh, avoid a loser there. So yeah, I do recommend you play transfers in this situation as well, if you're playing transfers in other situations that are come up more frequently. Any comments or questions on that? I, I can tell, obviously, by the fact that nearly half of you gave uh, the answer of three hearts there, sorry, four hearts there, that you really need to brush up on, on playing transfers if you got that one wrong. Um, let's have a look at another one. Um, and actually, this was a hand that was played um, a while ago. We're going to have a look at the travel for it in a minute. And West here opens two clubs. The partner responds two diamonds, that's um, uh, zero to seven points. And I've got the uh, next poll question for you, which is what do you think West should bid with this hand? So it's gone two clubs, two diamonds. Okay, let me uh, share the results with you. And most of you have gone for two hearts. Uh, actually, you've all gone for the two hearts. A quarter of you went for three hearts. Well, you're right, of course, to bid hearts because it's your best suit. Um, but it is absolutely not necessary to jump the bidding here. You really want to find a fit in one of your major suits. And you want to find a fit in the best where you have the best fit, which is either going to be hearts or spades. Although, as you can see on this particular layout, it's actually spades. 
but it's absolutely not necessary to jump the bidding here. Um, jumping the bidding when you're in a game forcing auction does have a particular meaning. Uh, it's not something I've covered, but it, what it actually means is that you are making that the trump suit and you, you don't need any help from your partner. Um, and the, the merit of that is that then if you start bidding new suits in response to a, a jump bid, that is taken like um, a qubit showing interest in the slam and showing control in that suit. But on a hand like this, where you're not certain where you want to end up in, it's an absolutely um, uh, poor choice to, to jump here. So you just bid two hearts here. And on a hand like this, where your partner is really terribly weak and you're still at the two level, they can make what's called the double negative bid of two no trump. So if the bidding has gone two clubs, two diamonds, two of a suit, and then the two no trump bid is still available, that is used as a double negative. The first two diamond bid shows zero to seven, and then the two no trump rebid shows a really weak hand with zero to two points. And if you have more than that, three points or more, three to seven points, then you will, should find another bid. But here, West uh, East has a terrible hand with just one point and just bids two no trump. Now, West, of course, is going to carry on here because although, okay, they know their partner's terribly weak, they want to find the best bid. So what they should bid here is their second suit. They should bid three spades, offering their partner a choice of suits, and here East prefers spades, so we'll bid four spades. And that's where you might well end up on this hand. Um, West knows that their partner is terribly weak and they may well decide to pass four spades or they could take a stab at six spades. There's no point asking for aces because your partner has no more than two points. But with some kind of fit in spades, you might... Um, try six spades. There's no real, uh, it's, it's not definite you're going to make that, but you, you might have a go at six spades. When this hand was actually played, um, I was expecting most people to end up in probably four spades on this hand, but this is actually the traveler for what, uh, for when this hand was played. And you can see two things in here, but first of all, most people didn't find their spade fit. Most people played this in hearts. And a lot of people didn't reach game. And I suppose the second thing is, is the worst, worst mistake, because once you've opened two clubs, you really must not stop short of game. And I know with that terribly weak East hand, it's very tempting. You want to pass at the first available opportunity, but you really mustn't pass until game has been reached. And you should really bid it as I just bid it, and you should end up in four spades which I think you can see according to the um, little screen here, the computer grid, you could actually make uh, a grand slam uh, if you guess correctly the, in spades, whereas you can only make five hearts, okay? Only one slam was bid, six hearts was um, made there, but it really shouldn't have been made. I, you can see the reason it was made was that on this hand, South actually led a club. So South, it was played by East, and South led a club, and, and that allowed the Clara to um, the finesse in, in clubs. And that's how they made uh, 12 tricks there. But according to the computer, it should only make 11 tricks in hearts, and you should really be in spades there. Any comments on that one? Tony, just one question. Yes. Sometimes one needs to open two clubs because you haven't got 23 points, but a very strong hand. Hmm. So you could get into trouble. <laughs> Not really. I mean, no. I, well, you know, just imagine the the West hand was the same, but imagine you've just had two small clubs. OK, so you, you've only got 18 points. Uh -huh. but you want to be in game on this hand. I, right. I put it to you. you still want to be in four hearts or four spades. Uh -huh. Right. So even though it's not quite there in terms of points, it, it's there in terms of losers. I mean, if you look at the losers, likely losers, if you can find a fit in one of your suits, you've only got one loser in the West. Sure. 
So you, you don't, you know, you should treat it as, as a 24 point hand. And I, I don't think you will get into trouble um, as long as your hand, you know, is good enough to, to be in game, even though you're not quite 24 points. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's just have a look at uh, one or two more examples. Here, um, you've got 22 points as West here, but I think this hand is pretty much a hand you want to open two clubs on. Um, if you think about it, if you can find a fit in one of your suits, you've probably only got two losers there, a heart and a club. So it's a very strong hand again, even though it's not quite 23 points. So we'll open that one two clubs. My partner bids two diamonds. Now I bid two spades. I'm going to show my uh, major suit first. East with this hand might just support the spades, although um, it should show a five card suit, two spades. You've only got two. But if you don't support the spades, you've got to find another bid. And the bid to avoid is two no trump because two no trump will be the double negative. And you've got five points, including an ace there. So you need to find another bid. And I think the bid I would make is three clubs. And that should show that that's a real suit, um, at least four cards in that suit, and that it's uh, not, uh, you've got at least um, three to seven points. Now, West might then well start looking for a slam if they bid four no trump to see if their partner's got at least one of the missing aces. Five diamonds would probably uh, lead to six clubs, which is probably going to be a good uh, good contract for you. OK, so that's how you could um, reach, uh, you know, a fit in your, your second suit, if you like. Um, here, if you open two clubs with this hand here, East has got nine points and they have their own respectable five card suit. So they should show it by bidding two hearts. That's a positive bid showing at least eight points and a good five card suit with at least uh, two of the top honors in that suit. So now your partner can support you. Otherwise, they were planning to bid their spades, of course, but they really should support the hearts now. And once they've shown heart support, well, East can't really go anywhere, but they might just um, bid four hearts again. It's West here who's probably more interested in looking for a slam. And as is often the case, it works out better if the stronger hand uses Blackwood, Blackwood or Roman keycard Blackwood or whatever you're playing. So if they do bid four no trump and you show one ace, then maybe West will take a stab at six hearts, hoping their partners should have a good heart suit for that positive bid of two hearts, at least a five card suit. OK, so those are some examples of responding to two clubs. And just to summarize it, um, make the negative bid of two diamonds with zero to seven. If you have more than seven points, then bid two no trump or your own good five card suit. And apart from this sequence, two clubs, two diamonds, two no trump, an opening bid of two clubs is game forcing for both partners. That means they must keep bidding until game has been reached. So you can't pass short of game. So that other hand we looked at where a lot of people stop short of game, that should not happen. You, you should reach game once you open two clubs, unless you have that, that exact bidding sequence. That's the only time that you can pass short of uh, game. Okay, any questions on any of that? And uh, I was asked also, uh, which uh, are these bids alertable? They should be alertable, <coughs> alerted. The two club bid should be alerted as artificial. And I think the two diamond bid should also be alerted. Well, I think in practice, most people don't seem to alert that. But I, I thought it was alertable. It's again, an artificial bid. Anyway, we'll end the talk there.